week's Texas Roadhouse press conference. Uh, a couple things from last week. Chris Hode was named first team all Super 4 region first team, and he moves on and is now eligible for all American status, and that, that is voted on this week. Uh, men's basketball coach Josh Newman announced his first signing for the 2019 class. We can talk to, to him about that in a few minutes. Uh, we've got a couple of games with couple days of games this week. Uh, men's basketball flies out to California where they take on University of the Pacific in an exhibition game Wednesday night at 9 p.m. And then Saturday, both men's and women's basketball are home. For the men, it's their first Lone Star Conference game, and for the women, it's their first Lone Star Conference game at home where the women take on Western New Mexico at 2 and then follow against Western New Mexico at 4. So today we'll get started with UTPB Women's Basketball Coach Reed. About the same height, maybe a little shorter than mine. Am I shorter than mine? I hope so. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> That's the answer. Ready when you're ready. Yes. Okay, Coach, so a close loss to Texas Women's there. Uh, what did you see your team do really well against such a tough team? Well, we guarded really well. Um, for the most part, you know, we were pretty solid. Uh, and when we weren't, uh, it typically resulted in a foul. Um, so, you know, obviously some things we know can get better at on the defensive ends. Uh, we are rebounding them, which was great because they were very good in that area. Um, but we, we were a couple uh, players down, and so we hope to get them back this week or the following week um, and to have a healthy team. But offensively, we still have a lot of work to do and still a lot of teaching to do, but uh, better in terms of decision making uh, with the basketball, we just need to be able to knock down open shots. And, you know, late, it was a minute to go, maybe under that, Chad Rivera had a wide open three uh, to put us up one and, and missed it, and that's just the way it goes, you know, and then they went down and we had to foul, so. Uh, but better performance, I think the non-conference really helped us uh, gain some confidence for competition in this league. Um, so it was nice to know that we could compete with a really good team uh, despite only having, you know, our top six. So I think it was last week that you mentioned, you know, one of the things we really need to work on is offensive decision making. And just like you just said, it seemed like that was much better this week. So if you were able to pick one area of the game for you guys to improve the most on for the next game, what would you pick? Knocking down shots, making them. You know, now we're taking better shots, we're, we're making an extra pass. We just need to be able to convert and, and attack more. We didn't take one free throw the whole game, not one. And I do think there was opportunities for us to have a whistle that we didn't get, but I also think we can do a better job of really attacking harder, being more physical uh, with their players and, and really just getting after a little bit more. Like you said that you think that they improved. What was the morale like after the game? Rough. Well, the morale's been good all week. It was probably the best week of basketball we've had, to be honest. Preparation was good. Um, focus was great. Leadership was great. Probably the best leadership we've had all year in the last week. Um, and so the, the atmosphere, or as our players call it, the vibe was really good going into the game. And that kind of um, knocked us down a little bit Friday when we had a couple players get hurt in practice. Um, but we responded well and, and came out with a lot of confidence and it was the first loss that looked like it really bothered us afterwards. So I expect us to really respond well this week and uh, I, we've got to get Western Mexico, there's no, there's no option. How excited are you to finally have a game at home? We're excited. I feel like now we're ready to actually play at home. So um, now that we're ready, hopefully we can put it on a good performance. Um, because a couple weeks ago we weren't ready to play at home just with this many new people. But we're excited. I think we're excited to just not travel. <laughs> to be honest, it's, it feels like we've been gone a lot. But I think it's been really good for our team. And now um, just carrying that onto the home course is going to be fun. What's this matchup with Western New Mexico looking like? You know, they have a lot of new faces. A lot. And, and we do. Um, we just started really preparing for them yesterday. 
Um, they had a close one at Texas Women's. We had a close one at Texas Women's. They're our only common opponent. Um, they're undersized and scrappy. So I do think it's going to be, um, my prediction, a really ugly game. Uh, whoever grinds it out the best is probably going to be the one to win. Okay. Thanks, 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 Thanks Coach. Coach. Appreciate it. Okay, next up is basketball coach. There it is. <laughs> Do you guys like it if I start off, or do you want to ask questions? We can do whatever is easier for you. I mean, <coughs> does any point you definitely want to hit? Yeah, so. I'm sorry. You do? Okay. Can I give you a direction to go? Yeah. yeah. You make me mark something off the list. <coughs> Let me know when you're ready. I'm good whenever you're I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought we had another good week. Uh, I thought we played really well on Wednesday versus Our Lady of the Lakes. Uh, we really executed versus our press. You know, they were a team coming in average about 90 points a game. So we really talked to our guys about valuing the ball, uh, taking advantage of opportunities versus the pressure. Uh, and then defensively, we were really committed. So I was really happy with that game. Uh, not so much the next uh, opportunity we played out in Midland. But uh, I wanted to thank, obviously, Midland College, uh, the community of Midland for allowing us to play the first ever basketball game at the Shap Center. Uh, it's always cool to be able to do something the first time ever. Uh, and for our program, and for me to be the head coach, and for this team to be the first team to ever do that, I thought it was really significant. And I'm hoping that uh, bigger and better things will come. Uh, we're very thankful for that opportunity to play a game in Midland. Honestly, uh, oh. No, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. keep going. You <laughs> said you asked for something, you don't need to say it. Keep going. Okay, Th this week coming up, uh, we have kind of a unique situation. We have an exhibition game in the middle of the season. Uh, but what it does is it gives my team a chance to continue to bond. Uh, I'm all about experiences. Uh, obviously, we want our team to be connected with the community. We want our team to have a chance to win championships, but I also want experiences. And going to California is an experience that a lot of teams don't get to have. Uh, so we're going to take our team out to the Pacific, uh, which is actually in Stockton, but we're going to fly into San Francisco. Uh, we're going to spend the whole day in San Francisco if the weather permits. Uh, we'll go to Alcatraz, we'll go to Pier 39. We'll really spend a day, you know, building that experience that I think college is all about. Uh, and then obviously we'll get back to the hotel that night, and then we'll get worried, uh, then we'll get focused on Pacific. And then we come home and we play what will be the biggest game of the year on Saturday versus Western New Mexico. Uh, and the reason I say it's the biggest game of the year is it's the second season. Uh, the first season is non-conference, second season is the conference, and so that game Saturday will be the biggest game of the year for us. So I definitely want to talk about the California trip. Before we do, I'd like to touch on Ace Carter for a second. So, yeah. you know, he's been getting a lot of buzz. Does, uh, is it deservedly so? Like, what, what is it about this kid? Well, first of all, he's very talented. Uh, anytime that you're uh, invited to the top 100 junior college camp in the country, you're a good player. Uh, and, you know, obviously he's playing right here in the West Texas region as well. So he played against Odessa and South Plains. I think he had 20-something rebounds against South Plains last year that obviously was a national champion. So he's very talented. Uh, people would say he was a steal for us, which is great. Uh, my staff did a phenomenal job working extremely hard, building that relationship with him. And then just the right dominoes fell, and he decided that he wanted to be part of the family. So we're excited that he's the first signing of our 2019 class, and uh, I'm excited about what he's going to bring to the table next year. Is he the kind of guy who comes in healthy, out permitted, he's going he's to have a starting spot when he walks in the door? Well, I never guarantee starting, starting spots, but I would tell you if he was on this team right now, he'd be starting. Uh, so we're looking forward to what he's going to bring next year. Cool. So then I guess shifting gears back to uh, to California. So I know you mentioned experiences, but would you say this is more of a basketball-minded trip or more of a team bonding kind of thing? Team bonding. Uh, because again, the exhibition games are so unique in the fact that uh, win or lose, the NCAA committee in March does not recognize this game. So if we go in there and win or lose, it won't even pop up on the radar. So uh, this is a good opportunity for us to build as a program. Uh, recruiting, it helps with recruiting. Anytime you tell kids that you jump on a plane and you play a division one school, uh, that helps. And then obviously, again, the experience. I really am about the experience for these guys. I mean, college is going to go by so fast for them. Some of them will be with us for one year, two years. Hopefully we'll have more guys to be with us for four years. But this, this is a trip that they're going to look back at five to ten years. They'll be watching some movie, and they'll see the rock in the background, and they'll be able to tell the little one, hey, Coach Newman took me there. Um, and so it's really an experience that I think they'll look back on many years and, and really value. 
for the game itself, do you think you're going to be treating it like kind of like how you did with UTEP and kind of experimenting different things? Are you going to say everyone's going to get minutes or anything like that? Absolutely. We'll, we'll definitely do that. Uh, unfortunately, Kyrie Elder's not going to be able to make the trip. He had uh, a family emergency, so he's not going to be making that trip. Um, so, yes, we will definitely kind of approach that game like we did the UTEP game. Uh, that win in Midland was the 20th home win in a row. How's that feel and what's that say about the program? Well, I think it speaks a lot for the program. Uh, you know, obviously, we've only – how many, how many games have we had? Maybe four, maybe something like that. Um, 25%. Yeah, we're, we're doing our part. Uh, but those wins came from the previous teams. Uh, and again, I can't speak enough you know, for the teams that came before us the last two years with Andy. Uh, they, they did a great job. They, they pushed this program to another level, and it's our job to continue to do that as well as push it to the next level as well. So uh, it's great. Uh, I don't really get caught up in streaks, truth be told. Uh, we're just trying to win every single game, and the most important game for us is coming up on Saturday. You guys did win on Saturday, but there was times in the second half when I was at the game, you looked a little frustrated. What, what was going on there? Yeah, well, good thing that admission was free because I felt like if we would have had to uh, charge people, I would have to give a refund. Uh, <laughs> I did not think we played very well, truth be told. Uh, I don't know if it was just the scheduling coming off a, big, a, a decent win, a good win versus Our Lady Lakes. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes for these guys to get up for every game. And they looked at their record. Uh, they obviously haven't had a lot of success, but they were a pretty good team. They were very disciplined. They made us, made us work differently than other teams, but I was absolutely frustrated because I'm a perfectionist. Uh, I want our team to be as good as we can be every single night because those people from Midland, they might not have seen us play before. That might be their only sample size, uh, and I want to make sure we put our best foot forward every single night. So going off of being a perfectionist, then a transition offense looked good, maybe a little bit of work on transition defense and rebounding. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so our transition defense has been an issue pretty much from the beginning. Uh, it's gotten better. Uh, transition offense is great in spurts. It's that secondary flow that we need to work on. The initial get out and transition and make a play is great, but when that first play is not there, it's making that second and third pass. And that, that's a work in progress. But transition, transition defense is a constant that we'll work on. We're going to work on again today, uh, as well as rebounding. I felt like we kind of just did not pay attention to detail on the defensive end of the glass. We didn't connect. We didn't hit bodies. Uh, we're a little bit lethargic and it showed that they got 10 offensive rebounds. So what do you think of this kind of California trip would be good to have the guys rest up a little bit and ready to have, make some contact when they come home? I do. I think I think a lot of times guys kind of get tired, you know, and this is going to be somewhere I don't have to be as on them. You know, we can take a, they can see me in a different light uh, when we go to Alcatraz and we're, we're hanging out at Bubba Gums or whatever. They get to see me in a different light and it's just not always the demanding Coach Newman that they're used to from 1.30 to 3.30. Uh, and so this kind of built a different kind of relationship, which I think is very important moving forward, that they should, that they can see that we truly do care about them and we're trying to create an experience for them. You touched on it a little bit, but how important is it to start off conference play with a win? Well, very important. Uh, I would say this, if you want to win a conference championship, and that's why we're here. You know, it's, it's not about just being good, not about being competitive. We're here to win championships. Uh, that's why I came to UTVB. Uh, I believe we can win a lot of championships. To win championships, you have to win every home. That's a fact. And then you have to figure out how to steal games on the road. So this home game is very important for our ultimate goal, which is to win a conference championship. When are these leaving again? We leave uh, bright and early tomorrow. The plane leaves at 7 a.m. Uh, and we will land in San Francisco at 10.45 and go straight to the pier in Alcatraz at 1.30. Uh, what's, what's Western New Mexico looking like? You know what, they're off to maybe the best start in school history. They're currently 3-1. and one. Uh, They've got a win versus Fort Lewis, which is in the top three of the RMAC. Uh, they split with New Mexico Highlands, who is currently have one loss on the year. Uh, so they're actually doing very well. Uh, they've got depth, they've got athleticism. I believe they start two guys at about 6'9". Uh, so they're much, much improved. And it's going to be a, a different team than I think most Western New Mexico teams that the, the uh, Permian Basin has seen before. All right. Awesome. Thanks so much, Coach. Thanks, Coach. You're going to my home. Lucky. San Francisco? Yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh, that's my favorite oh, the city. Bay Area, yeah. This is my favorite city. <laughs> you guys should try to go to Pier 39, too. That's where we have lunch. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. There's some good the places lines. there. As long as the sea lines don't grab. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, up next is freshman guard, Isaac Hernandez. Thanks, Coach. 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 So how do you feel, you know, freshman coming off to a program that's, I mean, obviously Coach Newman saying he's a perfectionist, but you guys are winning. How does it feel? 
That feels good. I mean, our team, I mean, we're new, we're all new guys. I mean, we've got that team chemistry now. I mean, we're getting to know each other. It feels good to come out to play with this team, even though it's my hometown. It, it's, it feels good to play here. And obviously, you got a new coach, new staff, first, but they they push me hard. They they want me to be the best, and not only in basketball, but in life. In life. Oh. <laughs> Speaking but, of. But, like, yeah, they they do extremely hard work on us, and I appreciate everything that they do and this team. Speaking of getting to know each other, uh, what is your thoughts on this California trip coming up? Man, uh, I'm excited. This is my first time going to California, and, and I'm really excited to see all the new stuff. And team, like, like Coach said, the bonding with the guys, doing new things, seeing new people, other stores that we never been or never saw. I mean, it feels great. And like, I can't wait for it. What was it like playing at Midland College this past weekend? It felt, I mean, we had a rough start. And it felt, it felt kind of weird. I mean, it was just rough for us. I mean, we came out sluggish, you could tell. I and mean, we were to have the energy. We weren't coming out right. Second half, we just came out. Jacob, he came out scoring. I mean, he did a phenomenal job. Was he, he led the, the team for scoring right there in that team. And I'm happy that he did because we came out with defense too. I mean, offense rebounds, we need to work on that soon because we gave up a lot. And we were tired, but like, still we need to fight for it, but we got to, we still got to fight for the win. And yeah, we just, just got to do that. I know that, uh, sorry, you you've probably played there at Northern College with some tournaments in high school and stuff. What was it like stepping on the court this time in a UTPB uniform and playing collegiate ball? I mean, it, it felt the same, but like just different, different team in a different uniform. I mean, like you're, you're not playing high school anymore. You're playing college with a grown man that had experience playing, playing college ball. You're playing against juniors and seniors that had experience. Going back to sorry, Marsh, Going back to that first home game. Um, it was your first college game in your hometown. So what was that like? Uh, it felt good. My friends came on to watch me play because they were excited to come watch me play. And yeah, they were really excited that they already came on cheering for me and they gave me high fives after the game. They all waited for me after the game, <laughs> telling me I had did a good job shooting the ball and like I played phenomenal defense. Like you keep it up, everything's gonna work out for me very well. And I'm proud of that that they came out and supported me. And yeah, so one of the tougher uh, aspects of that's been going on the coach was talking about was rebounding, and especially as a guard. I mean, obviously you grab boards, but not the same as the big men would. So what is kind of, you know, the team chemistry, like like you said, all new guys, still getting to know each other. What's it like team accountability wise, as far as the guards and anyone saying, hey guys, we need to step it up. Uh, on the re this week is the rebounding game. Next week, maybe it'll be something else. How's that looking like in a locker room? Mm -hmm. We come out of the locker room, like what happened on the middle of the game. We didn't have, we didn't get no rebounds. We, man, I mean, it happened in the second half, but like, we, we said it on the timeout, we need to come out with more rebounds. We know we're tired, but still, the rebounds are so important to us that we can start pushing the ball and get more layups and score. Out of it. But we gave up like 10, I don't know how much, but like, it was just so bad. And everybody in the stand was just telling us to rebound. Coach Thomas to rebound, it was, it was bad, but like, I was glad we came up with the win. And yeah, we were going to rebound it. And yeah, I mean, for me, for guard, for me, I need to do that too. I mean, I need to fight with my team and get on the boards too. Even though I don't get a lot, but still, like, I'm so good up on my team boxing out. The opponents and hitting them, make sure they don't get the offensive of rebound, and then make sure we get it. Okay. Thanks, Thanks so much.